Um, I really enjoyed the guys I worked with. They were a really good bunch of guys. Um, I enjoyed the size of the community. Uh, Batavia to me just seemed like the right size area to work in. Uh, although there are problems here, they don't seem to necessarily always be insurmountable problems. They were something that you could work on and maybe get a solution to and bring some relief to some of the people of some of the things that were going on in their neighborhoods. Probably the hardest thing is the hours you have to work and the days you have to work and you work holidays, it's time away from your family, it's uh, sacrifices your family has to make on holidays, special arrangements for you, whether it's times for dinner or just family get-togethers, that's the hardest thing. No, nope, I actually worked for the Holly Police Department the Albion Police Department and the Orleans County Sheriff's Department for brief stints when I first started out in police work. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard. It's it's definitely transitioning more to administrative work and you don't necessarily have direct connection to things that are going on in the day to day routine for the uniform guys that are out on the road. Um, definitely gonna be something that I'll miss. I think I described it before, it's like being scared to death and also excited about the new opportunities and challenges, so you run the gamut of emotions. Well, I've thought about that myself. Um, there's a lot of smart people in this department, a lot of qualified people in this department. Um, I think one thing that I've done that may have uh, given me a little bit of advantage is I've worked in a lot of different departments here within the police department. I've worked patrol, I've worked as a detective, um, had a uh, short stint as a supervisor. So when I look at some of the changes that we're making, I can kind of understand how each it's going to affect each department. Uh, probably the biggest thing is just getting things prepared for the consolidation. Um, trying to prepare for all the changes that are going to you know, happen going to be some procedural changes, some different ways that we're going to be able to do our day-to-day -day business um, and try and keep police services on the same level that they were during all this transition. So that's the hardest thing is just getting up to speed with everything that's been done to date and then trying to prepare for the things that are going to come in the near future. And there's a lot of little things that we do that you know are going to have to be addressed just in terms of record keeping and how we're going to handle certain uh, procedures that we do now that are obviously going to be in a whole new system. Um, and a lot of jobs that our dispatchers may have done before that somehow we're going to have to figure out how do we handle those now that they're no longer in the same building or have the direct connection with us they had before. I think once we get it done and get the bugs out of it, it it's probably going to be a positive thing for the department. Obviously it's a change and Change is difficult. It's hard. Uh, you get used to doing things a certain way and you're comfortable with that. But I think once it's done, it'll be a positive thing.